Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's iPod Touch for Life 165 here. And today I got a really cool modification video. I think it's really cool. Uh, if you're using the iPod Touch 3rd gen, iPhone 3GS, or iPhone 4, this is for you. I'm going to show you how you can change the background of your voice control um, when it pops up. So I'm going to show you that for a second. Most of you would know what it looks like. But as you can see, it has that like bluish gradient black background. And then you can just obviously know how voice control works. You speak into the microphone and it carries out your command. So today I'm going to show you how you can customize this a little bit and refresh it, I guess, and change this bluish black background to any picture or pretty much any background that you want. So to show you what I've changed it to, I'm going to go into Winterboard. Just to quickly show you a demo of what I mean. Select themes and I want to enable my main theme. And it's resprung. We're going to slide to unlock. And now we're going to enable voice control again. I have to use my earphones because this is the iPod Touch 3rd gen that I'm using right now. And as you can see here, it's like a greenish black background, which I changed by myself. So today I'm going to be showing you a really easy way. It's actually really easy to change this if you follow the steps and you uh, get the things I provided you in the description. And all you'll really need is some kind of way to SSH into your device and Winterboard, as usual, the main two things you need for any theming modifications. So the first thing we're going to have to do is go onto our computer. So once you're on your computer, you want to download the link that I have in the video description. Uh, it's a special link, uh, and I did this because there's a special file inside you need um, that some of you might find a little difficult to create. It's not that difficult, but whatever. So it'll be like a mega upload or a rapid share link. Just go into there and download it. And I actually already have that file downloaded into my uh, works in progress folder. And it'll look just like this, voicecontrol.zip. What you want to do is use WinRAR or any other extraction software you have. You must have one of those though, so you can go and download WinRAR. It's, it's really a paid software, but it gives you an unlimited trial. So all you need to do is just right click on the zip file and click Extract to Voice Control. And then you'll have this right here, Voice Control. And inside Voice Control, you should have a folder that says Folders. And then inside there, a folder that says Springboard.app, just like this. And you'll have one file inside, and this is what I kind of needed you to have because this would have been a little difficult for you to create. JibblerFadeLeft.png. All right, you don't need to worry about this at all. You just want to make sure that it stays in there. All right. So now what we need to do is find the background we need. So you can either go to ThemeMyPhone.com, which I'll have in the description. It has many, many iPhone and iPod Touch wallpapers, as you can see. So you have all kinds of categories like 3D, abstract, anime, animals, aircraft, etc. I'm going to go for 3D right now. Also, if you want to create something in GIMP uh, or Photoshop, like a gradient of like a red and black, that's what I like to do, and that's what I did in the demo I showed you. It was a green and black gradient. And I think that really looks cool because it maintains the original uh, idea of like the blue and black gradient, but it just changes the colors, which is something I really like and is refreshing. But anyways, I can change to anything I really want right now. Uh, I'm thinking what I want from here. And then I'll go into the next page. All right, we'll use this picture right here. Um, this pink and purple thing. And all we need to do is just right click and click Save Image As. And you want to make sure you're saving it into that folder that we had. So I'm going to go into my Works in Progress folder. You won't have that, obviously. And you need to find Voice Control. Folders, double click into each one of these folders, springboard.app, and here's one you, where you want to save it. For save as type, you want to make sure it's all files, and for file name, you're going to name it this, capital J-I-B-B-L-E-R, capital B-A-C-K-G-R-O-U-N-D, dot P-N-G. You want to make sure you have that dot P-N-G at the end of it, and it's spelled exactly like this. Click save. And you're all set, guys. That's all you really need to do. Um, so we're going to go back into the Works in Progress folder. And now we can SSH into our device. I find using iFunbox easier, but you can use WinSCP or anything else. I'll put a link in the description if you don't know how to uh, SSH yet. And uh, I am connected, so we're just going to wait for iFunbox to load up. And we're going to click on my device, Raw File System. You're going to go into var, stash, themes. And now all you need to do is drag and drop that voice control folder into here. 
and boom, all you need to do is close out of iFun Box and go onto our device. So now what you want to do is go into Winterboard and select themes and you'll have one thing called voice control. I'm going to uncheck my own theme and enable the new one that we just added and now we wait for our device to respring and we'll have a newly customized voice control application. Alright, slide to unlock. And now I'm going to enable voice control. I can just actually I can just press down the home button when I have my earphones plugged in. And there you go. As you can see, you have that nice background. Um, now this might have not been the ideal pick because it already has the kind of lines of static. And then voice control automatically adds the lines of static to your voice. But yeah, guys, that is exactly how you change your voice control. Uh, very simple. I've, simpl I've simplified it very much um, because there are other things you need. But the file that I put in that uh, zip file, that'll cover everything. So that's all you need to do. Just add the wallpaper and name it accordingly. And boom, you are all set, guys. So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like this theming modification and you would like more for 4.0, please leave a, a comment down in the box below about what kind of modifications you'd like. And I'll tell you whether it's possible or not. And also comment on how you like this one. Again, thank you for watching. If you could, uh, please give me a thumbs up down there in the bottom left. And um, comment down below, like I said before. And subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already for more videos. Uh, and I will see you guys later. Peace.